Hey everyone, Chris here again, and we are back in Mario Odyssey, hitting flags, doing other such things. Uh, if you remember, we just got here at the Luncheon Kingdom, and uh, get out of here, you fireballs! Actually, I want you. Uh, and we were uh, we were exploring a bit. I was uh, was a a hammer, a pan, a, a pan bro. Is that what they're gonna be called? Is a pan bro? Um, that was easy. Um, the pan bro, and I cut through some cheese with my mighty. My mighty hot pan. I guess that is some way of saving the day in this game. I don't, I don't, I don't really follow Mario logic anymore at this point. It's all out the window. Look at me, I'm a fireball. Yeah, this makes sense. My, my secret body stealing hat that I, I don't consider evil in any way because it's on my side. Get out of here, you hot is. Let's uh, do a flip. A flip. Out of here, you hot tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, I want to try and see if we can... Yeah! I'm the best! That was awesome! <laughs> Sweet flips and stuff. That's right. You ain't gonna see any of that here unless you're playing... Unless I'm playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Like, my, one of the best ones, in my opinion. Oh, man. Okay, well. I'm gonna have to ditch this body. Hey. Keep it off, okay, buddy? I need you up at the office tomorrow. Please make it! Okay. Sweet, sweet apple... Tomatoes? Tomatoes. Not apples. Sweet fruit of some sort. And yes, that's right. Still calling the tomato fruit, as it should be. Come at me. Weird not tomato fruit believers. Let's start an argument in the comment section. Let's do this. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I don't like these tomatoes. They ruin my day. Come here, buddy. Come here. Daddy just wants to play. Can I hop from here to here? I can. Okay. See? I'm getting the hang of this. Nothing weird about this. Hey, look, and I found the hidden one. That was easy. Crossing to the magma. Good job, Mario. Got this crap on lockdown. You are just the best, except for when you do that. Huh? <laughs> I have gotten better. Like, uh, what, like I was saying, I think a couple episodes ago, um, I went back and I did a bunch of the other uh, moon medals and kind of got everything up to par. I was getting kind of bothered by the fact that we uh, weren't getting every single moon medal out there. I really want to fix that. Um, Got a lot better at doing like kind of trick jumps and stuff like that just for shenanigan purposes. I think it's kind of fun to do. I like being able to like do the jump, flip off my hat, do another another flip onto my hat again, and just keep the brain going. Pretty fun to do. Oh, please make it. Oh, we can make it. Okay. It's been a pretty sweet ride. I I have to say this is probably uh it's up there. It's really competing to be one of my my favorite uh. 3D Mario games of all time. It's definitely uh, Nin Nintendo's been very good this year about like breaking conventions, if that makes sense. Like breaking but fixing conventions. Like for the longest time, there was just stints of just consistent like open world games that were like I don't know. There's you know there's a couple good ones here or there, but the, you know the market was kind of flooded for a little while with like just any any and all uh, open world games. It got kind of really boring and stuff like that. And then Breath of the Wild came out, and they went, "Yeah, this is this is pretty much all you got to do to make like a bare bones, impressive, fun to play open world game, guys." I don't know why you you were overthinking it, Ubisoft, with all your like thirty towers you got to climb to make this work. You just got to have a slightly open world with not a whole lot going on, and mystery will take the course. Not to worry about it. Uh, but I, I kid. There was I know there was a lot of cool things about. Uh, Breath of the Wild that, you know, they did a lot of, uh, teaching through the shrines and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool. And, you know, like, typically, uh, and I'm gonna use, like, I think Far Cry 3 was, like, one of the last, like, major open world ones I played. Um, I use that one as an example. Um, like, every tower was pretty much the same, as far as, like, difficulty to, okay, well, this is fine now. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I got it. Um... But it was like, you know, climb tower, that's it. There wasn't a whole lot to it outside of, like, um, get out of here. Um, like, interesting techniques, because, like, it wasn't really a platforming. 
obviously it was a shooter, and yeah, you had like squirrel suits and other such things, but it wasn't, it was nowhere near like as platforming centric as those towers wanted you to pretend like the game was. Um, but like Breath of the Wild, obviously it's a third person camera, it's much more meant for climbing and exploring and stuff like that, and uh, I think that's one thing that really helped out the uh, game. Oh, what am I doing with this? I'm going to drop this in a second just out of spite. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Uh, you know what? There's a circular area over here. Guess where this is going? Right in there. Don't know if that's right, but that's where it's going now. Probably wrong. Probably just pissed off a lot of people. Okay. Um... But Zelda, like, all the the towers, like, some of the beginning ones were pretty, you know, generic. They just, you know, climb up normally. And there are more tests of, like, do you got enough endurance to get up here? Um, but the later ones, like, were ones built around towers with enemies around it. There was, like, the castle one where you had to know to blow up part of the, uh, the wall to get it to fall down so that you'd actually get across. And it was just, you know, everyone had, like, some puzzle element to it after a certain point. Like, some of the beginning ones weren't that elaborate. I won't give them that much credit, but there was just... God, what's going on? Oh my god, I'm delicious meat. I'm gonna salt myself. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, give me that sweet, sweet salt. Salt. Salt my. Oh, salt me. Oh, that's right. Um, now this got weird. Uh, but, uh, you know, and that wasn't something that a lot of the open world games did. They were like, just keep going to this tower, it'll open up more of the map, and, uh, there's 30 of them. Good luck. There was nothing really interesting about them. Like, you got there, and, like, sometimes it was games that were like, yeah, it's a stronghold, you gotta take down enemies to get there. And that was, that was kind of cool. But, oh, thank you. Um, Breath of the Wild was very good about, you know, making everything, every huge landmark was an actual challenge and trial to get through. Although I do think it really suffered in the, uh, when it came to, like, the major dungeons, because, I mean, there was, like, the... The beasts were fine, but I, I honestly weren't wasn't a big fan of, you know, the lack of... Like, they, they were just quick to get through. There wasn't a whole lot to them. There was some puzzles here or there, but for the most part it was just, like, find five little, you know, terminals and we'll automatically just let you fight the boss. There wasn't a whole lot of, like, ooh, I got the key. Oh my god, I got the big boss key. I can go finally fight him. And that sort of, like, build up to it. It was just, yeah, I got all five. Cool, let's let's go fight this random random monster that, you know... There was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of missing, um, uh, what sort of looking for? Imagination to the situation, because, because all the monsters were the same style of, like, a variation of Ganon, as far as, like, uh, looks are concerned. Like, you know, you think of, like, Ocarina of Time, they had, like, uh, Gamora, the spider person, or is it Gamora? God, I can't remember. Uh, you had the spider person, you had, like, the phantom Ganon, you had the, the witch sisters, you had the dragon, and, like, yeah, they were not the most intricate to beat bosses, but they were still like really interesting when you first got to them, and it was something that made the uh, the experience really cool. But all the bosses like looked the same in that sense, and it was, I mean, again, they had variation to them. Like one of them was flying, one of them was water based, and stuff like that. But it just, you know, the, aesthetically they didn't look as pleasing as like I would have liked them to be. But that just me. Don't worry about it, guys. I get on these teams. If you watch my stuff. What, what's going on? What are we doing? Are we climbing that again? Boy, I hope not. I do want this guy dead, because he's throwing flames at me. He actually spits hot fire. Get out of here. That's right. Oh, you, you, what do you mean you hit me? You, you know what, just for that, I'm going to drop you in the lava. I'm going to make you wish you'd never been born. Okay, well, there's nothing. And can't melt cheese, apparently. That's this one. Take him across. At least light up this crap. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give me that moon. Give me that sweet moon. Light the two flames. You know. This one, I don't know, this one's... I'm... I like that there's so much exploring to this one, because obviously that was the whole theme, it's the Odyssey theme, they've been beating me over the head with that. Like, since the E3 thing of like, it's all about exploring new lands, and exploring, and did you, did I, did I forget to mention you're gonna be exploring in this game? Um, but, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kinda, 
takes away a little bit when like you can easily get some of these. Like some of these are like kind of throwaway wounds, in my opinion. I do like it because it's like it's 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 neat to find like a secret, like like you know out in the wilderness you like you did something clever and all of a sudden like a moon appears it's like oh my god they totally thought about doing this this is awesome but um but i don't i don't know there's just something a little a little cheap about the moons at this point in the game just because of the ones i've seen are just like yeah like 30 percent of them are really interesting and unique for how you get them and stuff like that but the other ones are just there just to pad out the game <laughs> It's a little disappointing, but I digress. I mean, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of cool things about this game, and I I, won't, I don't want to knock it too hard. I just wish that there was a ah there's 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 a weird balance. I think you got to get with something like this. And it, interesting. It's an interesting challenge to tackle, and I wouldn't imagine that I could do a better job <laughs> in Nintendo. I just think that there's. Uh, there's something that I want them to look at from this game that worked well, which is just the, the open exploring with the levels, like, taking it back to these kind of, um... I, mean, I know I didn't really say they were before, I know I know I was very, um, discrediting of that, but they are kind of like the Mario 64 boards now that I've had more time to do it. They're just much bigger, and I think that's kind of cool. I like having a big open world to, like, just mess around in. It's still just, like... Um, I don't know. Still, a lot of, uh, they filled a lot of the negative space, which, which is always good, but there's still a lot of, um, like, they didn't fill the negative space with just every creative thing they could, and I, I know that's an impossible task to do, I just, you know, when you've gotten so many, it gets a little, like, tedious, and just like, Okay, I got th if this is what's gonna make up like a thousand of these things. It's just me randomly lighting torches and grabbing stuff. Okay, hope I don't lose my mind. But either way, again, I, I really like this one. This one's up there for one of my favorites. Although I don't know, I like Sunshine a lot, and that one was pretty cool. Although that comes with the territory of having a gimmick that becomes the whole game, and then you know slowly dying because. There's nothing else in the game other than, oh yeah, you got a water pack. Hope you can spray things, because that's this entire game. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take that water pack away from you, and then completely cripple you and see what happens. If you've been watching my Mario Sunshine stuff, you know how bad we are at those, <laughs> at those missing the jetpack parts. We are, we are not good, but we're, we're trying to get better. It's been a long time since me and Zane played, but I think we can get back into it. Sorry, not to, like, promote my stuff or anything like that on my channel, but, uh, go watch it. It's fun. We screw around a lot, and we make a lot of mistakes. But, uh, the main point was, uh, no game is completely flawless. There are some games that do really well, um, and to say that there is a flawless game out there is a little, just, uh, I don't know, it's... A little arrogant to say, in my opinion, and I think that it's... There are really good games, like the original Mario Brothers is fantastic for teaching, and I may have brought this up in the previous episodes, but I think, um... Like, I don't think it's a, and it's an absolute perfect game. I do think it is a perfect game for teaching, just because of how, uh... Just how it shows how Nintendo teaches through play, and I think it is the best place to start when you're dissecting how to make a game. Um... But, again, there's just, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, it is a pretty good game, but I, I there's still stuff that can be and, and was improved on with, like, later iterations, with, like Mario 3 and then Super Mario World, where you can add on and make things more interesting and just, you know, change up the formula. And, uh, get better in general. Stuff like that. But, um, so I think, I think I've rambled long enough. And I definitely think I'm lost. So, I think I'll end it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. We'll be back with uh, more Mario Odyssey, and I will be sure to get back on track before we uh, we start the next episode. Oh, oh, it's in the stew. Okay, I guess we're going back up to the stew again, or something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.